Hello and welcome. This is Tim Plummer and I'm back for another episode of the Acrobat 10 Pro video tutorial. In this episode, we're going to take a look at distributing forms and getting them into the hands of the people that you'd like to have fill the form out. We're also going to talk about how you can get the data back from the form once they have filled the form out. Acrobat has three pretty interesting ways to do that because they range from very automated to kind of ad hoc and something in between. And the nice thing about that is that Acrobat gives you the flexibility of distributing your form and then collecting the data back in a way that makes sense for you given the situation that you're in. Now many people know that you can take a PDF file and deliver it as a form and that's what I have here. You may also know that you can convert that into a form that you can complete right on the computer. Now I've selected highlight existing fields and you can see that there are fields that I can complete but the question is how do I get this into someone's hands and then how do I get the data back? For that I'm going to turn to the tools under the forms option I'm going to use the distribute form. So I'll click on distribute and you can see that I have three options here from this pull down menu. The first option that I'm going to consider is automatically collect responses on my own internal server. Select that and choose next and what I'll need to know is the network folder location or the SharePoint workspace that I'm going to use to collect the data and I can use those but generally they're going to require some involvement with IT and since you may not have access to IT or the budget to have IT set you up a network folder or a SharePoint workspace what I'm actually going to do is click previous and show you a couple of ad hoc methods that you can use where you can without IT's involvement collect data responses back after distributing the form in a very neat way. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one of those and that is manually collect responses in my email inbox. Now what this is going to do is Acrobat is going to leverage your email client, it's going to send the form automatically using Acrobat to the people that you determine. So let's say I want to send the form to Akira Tanaka. and Kara Bowman, both at localmag.com. Now all I need to do is click send, and Acrobat will key up an outgoing message using, in this case, Outlook, because that's my email client, and it will send it out to those people. Now, they'll get an email with the form attached that they can complete and then send it back to me. So I'll go ahead and click send. And let's take a look at the distributed version of the form, because what Acrobat actually does is it's going to produce two forms or two versions of this form that are a little bit different than what we're looking at here. So we'll take a look at those here. First off, it creates a version of the form called distributed. We'll double click on that and open it. Now this looks just like the original form except that it has this additional button here that allows me to submit the form. So if I were Akira or Kara, I could go ahead and complete the form. And she does want a hotel reservation, and she'd like a large shirt. Now, at this point, all she needs to do is click on Submit Form, and her email client will get an outgoing message that's pre-addressed to me with the PDF file attached that has the data in it that I want. So she'll go ahead and click Submit Form. That will happen automatically. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, what I'm going to receive back is going to be an email from Kara with this form attached. And I've got that right here, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. So you can see that I have an email here from Kara. It's got the PDF attached. If I want to add her data to my data set that I'm collecting, all I need to do is go ahead and double click on this. Now what Acrobat actually did was it created a third file in this mix called a responses file. And what Acrobat's asking me right now is if I'd like to go ahead and add this data to my response file. We'll go ahead and click OK. And there we go. And you can see that one new response is added, and I've already got Akira's information in my responses file. 
So I've gone all the way from the process of distributing the file via email to receiving responses automatically in my email. The final step to this might be that I can export this information out to a comma-separated values file and use it with a spreadsheet software product or a database.